Here's another cool effect, an old school transition. So I was watching, I think it was a Christmas story. And again, I'm inspired by the pop culture stuff that I see, the TV, the, the commercials and animations and, and movies and things like that. And I saw this old school effect. It was basically an iris open and you watch a video unfold. And it looks like this. So the iris open and you watch the video unfold. So I thought that was kind of cool. Doesn't PowerPoint have something like that built in? And it unfortunately doesn't. I was kind of shocked that there's any, there's nothing quite like this effect. You can do it, but it's not as cool as what I'm doing. So what I did was a very, it's again, it's kind of like that, that masking technique. So what I did was I created, uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to insert, I'm gonna insert a video uh, from a file my file and I'm going to go to my Hollywood effects and I'm going to go to old school and I'm going to drop a video in. So I'm going to drop a video in, a very cool video that I found on Pexels or Pixabay. Right now, if you notice, it's not the same size as my uh, stage, my, my slide. So I'm going to scale it up, scale it up, boom, boom, like this. Or I could have used Bright Slide to match the size of the slide and it would automatically crop things and all that. It's very cool, very cool. So I've got my video, I'm gonna to go to playback. Again, I'm gonna to go to playback. When I go to playback, I am going to go to uh, start. I want it to start automatically. I want it to start automatically. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert, insert a rectangle, insert a rectangle, I'm going to uh, go to bright slide, match the size. If you notice, part of the movie is hanging off the edge. That's okay because it won't be seen. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to choose oval. I'm going to choose oval and I'm going to go with this. I'm going to do this. I want you to be able to see this. So I'm going to change the color of it and I'm going to center it. I can center it lots of ways. For example, I could click on the background, shift click the circle choose a range, a line, and then center. I could choose a range, a line, center, and a range, a line, middle, and it would automatically do it. Right now, I'm just using the snap to guides function that's built into PowerPoint. So again, I'm gonna click on, just like we did with the mask, I'm gonna click on the cookie dough first. Then I'm gonna shift click the cookie cutter. I'm gonna choose merge shapes, go down to subtract. And now, I can see through this little hole. I have a little hole I can see through which is kind of creepy right there. Looks like someone happy is looking at you. So I'm going to change the color to something like black. Remember, it's just a mask. Change it to black. And under animations, under animations, I'm going to choose emphasis, grow shrink. I'm going to choose grow shrink. And under my animation tab, I am going to choose for it to uh, grow shrink 6,000% because I want it to get really big. And I am going to have it under timing. So again, it's 6,000% and growing. And under uh, start, I want it to start with previous. So when the movie starts, I want it to start. So now you get this really cool old school effect. Really cool, simple, simple. It's something you typically don't see. So therefore, you're more likely to pay attention to it. Those subtle things, that we use in our virtual presentations or recorded presentations or anything like that. Those subtle things that we do that's different is going to help keep the audience engaged. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.